What's up guys, Rick from Rick's Rock School doing a funky rhythm strumming lesson today. Dominant seven chord, a little lead pattern. I'll show you how I did it first before we even worry about what the left hand is doing. If you don't have your right hand technique under control, you're not gonna be able to play anything like that. So 16th notes, here's what I want you to do. This is, if, you've, if, you're just starting, if you're just starting off, you don't even have to worry about what I'm doing with the left hand here. We'll get to that in a second. But with your right hand, I want you to put on a metronome. Around, we can start at 100. I'm probably up at around like 110 beats per minute right now. Um, put, put that metronome on some, somewhere where you're comfortable, the tempo you're comfortable. And practice doing this. Block out the strings with your left hand and just practice strumming 16th notes like this. You gotta get comfortable with this. Then you can slowly start to add in the chord. show you how this rhythm is completely driven by the left hand and not the right hand. All my right hand is doing this entire time is keeping time. But the left hand, I'm choking out that note playing a staccato. So when I come up on that upstrum, it's muted. So here's the chord, E7, 7th fret A, 6th fret D, 7th fret G. If you ever heard CCR, Great chord. E7. Then we have the fourth fret of the A and the fifth fret. The whole time I never stop strumming. So if we were playing from that fourth fret of the A to the fifth fret, there's a choked out up strum. Down, choke, up, down, choke, up. Practice that ad nauseum until you're sick of it and then and then once you're sick of it keep practicing the next part sticking with this 16th notes pick hammer bum bum back to the fifth fret and then i'm just pulling off to the open string you gotta use those open strings here and it's just a free note that little trick i was doing here Sounds fast, but it's, it's not that fast. Triplets with an open string. It's a note for free. Land back on the E chord on the one. So it's... Make a backing track, then practice playing. Practice your leads to it. E7 chord. Four, five, bam, bam. But keep your hand moving. If that's all you get out of this lesson to play with good rhythm, you gotta keep your hand moving. Stop trying to swat it flies and guess where your upbeat is. Keep your hand moving. So you can play these cool rhythms without a care in the world. Guys, if you want lessons one-on-one -on -one over Skype, FaceTime, Google Duo, Zoom, whatever you got, ricksrockschool.com. I'll see you there.